Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric here. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Back again with the SX Giveaway Guitar Lefty. And as you can see, I kind of did a little bit more work to it. I've got the shielding tape done. I've got the tremolo installed. And kind of gave it a little bit of an upgrade here with some shit. So what I did with the tremolo is looking online. You know, I used to use what's called uh, spring stop or stop spring or something like that. And all it was was a solid tube of foam that you stuck inside the spring and that was to kill the noise of the spring every time you you know either use the tremolo or like tap on the guitar or something so i didn't have any more of those started looking online okay well how do you dampen the sound of the springs so i started seeing some sleeves that you would put over the springs it's like all right all it is is just a plastic tubing or a rubber tubing that you slide over the springs what's the difference between that and uh heat shrinking tubing so what i did was i got the largest heat shrinking tubing that i've got cut them down to size put them over the springs and kind of shrunk them up a little bit they're loose they're not like tight around the spring but it should be enough to dampen the sound of them so when you use the tremolo and it goes back to home place um they're not interfering with the operation of the spring itself. So that's going to be a little bit of a plus on this thing. Uh, the shielding tape that I ended up doing. See, I'm getting goofy with the lighting over here. Uh, reflecting lights. I got to change my light situation here or something. But anyways, um, shielding tape. A friend of mine gave me some of this Power Plus Plus tape. A uh, friend on YouTube. And I really appreciate it. This stuff has come in handy quite a bit. I was using the ductwork tape, which is a kind of like a metal tape, aluminum tape or something like that too. But the adhesive on that is not conductive. So when you overlap the two pieces, you really got to squish them down, you know, put some pressure on it or kind of pierce it a little bit in order for the two layers to go through the adhesive to make a connection. I was using that on there and then I'd make sure that they're making connection by using the multimeter to test everything that thing out in different places after I put the tape in. This stuff here, I don't have to worry about that. The adhesive is conductive. And as you can see, it's, it's, it's nice and neatly done. And I kind of do another like step up and where all these tabs are that you see here, those are where screws are going to be going into the uh, body for mounting the pickguard. On the back of the pickguard, there is some shielding tape. So what I wanted to ch achieve by putting these tabs here is to make sure that that tape makes connection with the body uh, that's on the pickguard. This way it's making the Faraday cage or whatever you want to call it and, you know, stopping or helping with stopping any noise that may get through. Also, I'm kind of, uh, as you guys know, I'm a neat freak when it comes to doing some of this shit. And as you see, the tape is like nice and neat around the edges. You know, I don't have a lot of it flopping all over the place and stuff. Um, reason being is I'll take a strip of tape about yay long, split it down the middle of it. Uh, lengthwise and kind of outline around the edges first and then fill in the blanks where needed um, also the bottoms here are like one piece of tape as well so and that's kind of as wide as the tape is reason being less waste not a lot of uh, like filling up holes here and there and stuff like that and then I've got this prying tool that's for automotive use for prying uh, panels there's a bunch there's a whole set of these for prying uh, door panels, prying um, dash panels, whatever. Anything that's clipped together, you know, you use these things to kind of pull them apart. And you can see it's just got a hook on one side and an angle on the other. I use this for the car audio stuff when I'm doing interior work, uh, the upholstery. And I end up uh, like routing out MDF, you know, making little shelves or grooves or whatever. And I'll use this after I spray the adhesive on the carpeting and on the uh, MDF. I'll use this tool to kind of tuck in, make nice sharp lines. That's why when you look at my car audio videos, uh, everything looks nice and neat as far as the upholstery goes. This works out great. Works great with this too because I could flatten, use this round edge, flatten all this out really nice. If it wasn't for the clear coat being bumpy, uh, this would look nice and smooth. And also I can get around the edges and stuff and, and tuck the corners in so they, and they look nice and sharp and not twisted where or not twisted but curved to where if you push your finger on it you're going to split the tape don't like it 
So right now what I'm going to end up doing is I've got the new pick cards. So I want to swap out the uh, Fender Electronics to the new Perloid pick card and then make the other pick card. Now I'm not too sure if, you know, do you really need to shield the cavity for the uh, plug? You know, I don't know if that's a thing that you do or not, but yeah, this thing's looking really good. Other than a few little dust and fingerprints that I end up getting on it now from manhandling it a little bit. But it's looking good. It's working out great. Um, all the scratches, there was a bad scratch over here and some scuffing. I filled that uh, scratch up with the um, crazy glue. It's gone. You don't even see it. There was some bad scuffing over here. Uh, that's gone. That sanded out really nice. Just a few little minor scratches that came out really good after sanding it down uh really bad scuffing i think it was like over here uh that's completely gone all the scratching stuff that was over here the line that was over here that's everything's gone it looks like a brand new body the only thing i don't like it is where all the holes were that i filled again you know i used the toothpicks glued them in with the uh, wood glue waited a day or so for that to dry cut them down, cut them down a little bit lower than the body goes. And then I used this blue magic marker to fill in the holes. The marker is a little bit dark. So it ended up making, you can see dark spots where the, the holes are, where, you know, filling them with crazy glue. The crazy glue, um, I kind of noticed something with the crazy glue. Uh, if you make a mountain, you know, like a nice little hump with the crazy glue, uh, as it dries, you start getting like these real tiny bubbles inside the crazy glue. It doesn't dry like perfectly solid. There, there are some air pockets that are in there and it does it as it's curing. Uh, the problem was, is I started getting like little dots where I did the crazy glue trick and not liking it or filling a scratch. It worked out really good. So what I figured found out doing is if you put a little bit of crazy glue on there and you take your finger and kind of rub it, don't push it in, but just rub on top of it a little bit um, to thin it out. It helps with not making bubbles, but I learned that trick after the fact. And so at least I kind of know where the screws got to go for this thing when I mount the pick guard on, but you're not going to see it. It's going to be under the pick guard. Um, I'll be drilling some of these out anyways for the new screws, so you won't see it that way either. But it's there. I know it's there. It bothers me. Um, can't correct it. And But the rest of it's coming out really, really nice. And I'm not worried about the screw holes. Again, under the pick guard. So let's get over to the pick guard and start swapping shit over. guys so there it is the new pick guard that's the perloid with the uh, fender player pickup and electronics uh i kind of like the perloid a lot better it goes with the blue and it kind of um there are some blues in the perloid pick guard i got some new knobs for it because the old knobs kind of looked a little shabby and you know didn't like it uh so here's the kicker right now starting today or as soon as this video gets put up on youtube is the beginning or starting of the contest for the early christmas giveaway yep so if you're interested in a left-handed sx gtx custom guitar that is basically like new now um i picked it up used i got it for 70 bucks on ebay okay so i'm not gonna lie to you i got it for 70 dollars 
Um, there were some scratches in it. You know, I kind of showed everything I've done with it, corrected all the scratches, fixed everything that was kind of, I saw that was wrong with it, replaced some parts on there. Um, there is another pit guard that is a perloid pit guard with three mini rail humbuckers. And that one's going to be mounted to where you could split the humbuckers and have it kind of be like, have the strat sound uh, still as well. Now that I'm going to build, and that's an option for this guitar. So whoever wins this guitar, actually put down in your comment below with your number, it's going to be a number game, uh, which pickguard that you want. Do you want the Perloid pickguard with the Fender Player electronics, or would you prefer to have the mini humbucker rails uh, with the Pearl Perloid uh, pickguard installed on the guitar before I ship it out. Uh, so you tell me, and again, this is a number game. So it's zero to 2070. So pick a number any between anywhere between there, uh, or zero or 2070, whichever you prefer. But if you pick a number that somebody else has, has already picked, uh, please pick another number. If I see that you picked a number that somebody else has already picked, um, I'm going to go by the date of whoever picked the number first and tell the second in line that, uh, you know, please pick another number. Now, this is going to be for U.S. and Canada only. Sorry, everybody else. Uh, I don't, shipping is kind of a little bit of a bear. And uh, even pushing it to Canada is going to be a little bit. And I'm floating the bill, not you guys. This is a giveaway to you guys. Christmas gift. Early Christmas gift. So again, I really like the Perloid, how, how this looks. Hopefully you guys like it too. And uh, pick a number. Contest starts now.